Hello, sports fans and football fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, and I am back with more picks. This time it's going to be picks for week number five. Now, a quick recap, as I always do, of the week that was uh, week four in the NFL. I was actually very good this week. I was 11 and five. 11 and 5 on the week after a 10 and 6 week in week 3. So we're getting there. We're moving. We're moving along. Um, 37 and 27 on the season. That makes me. And 57.8% uh, in the pick. So we are creeping towards 60%. That, that, that vaunted and uh, sought after 60% mark. So I am crawling my way back there we'll see if we can get there uh it was a very interesting week in the nfl in a week four um every game except uh monday night football and uh the tampa bay game on sunday night other than those two games every game went down uh to um to the fourth quarter and like the last a few possessions or if not the last possession so every game was very close i was this close to being like maybe eight and eight or seven and nine or something but no no i was 11 and five so with that having been said let's get on with the picks for week five now, the uh, first game of the week is going to be the uh, Thursday, October 6th game. And that is the Colts and the Broncos. Now, um, the Broncos, really neither one of these teams is very good, okay? The Broncos are the worst 2-2 two and two team maybe in the history of football. And, uh, well, let's face it, the Colts are not very good either. Um, I am going to, even though the Colts are on the road in mile high, I'm going with the Colts. I just got a feeling about the Colts and, uh, and Matt Ryan pulling this one off, but really who knows, but we're going to say, we're going to go with that. We're going to say that the Colts are going to win that one. So now we're starting the Sunday games. This is Sunday, the 9th of October. And the first game on that docket is the Giants and the Packers. Now, again, the Packers, remember last week I said almost all these games went down to the last possession. The Packers game actually went into overtime. Did it? Yes. And the Packers won it in overtime against the Patriots, who were basically playing their B squad. So I don't know how the Packers had to go to overtime with them. But, um, and the Giants, you'll recall, beat my bears which i didn't think was going to happen but i'm going with the pack yeah you got to go with the pack here even though they didn't look very impressive against the uh the patriots practice squad you still got to say that and so i'm going to go with the packers the next game we've got is the aforementioned patriots practice squad and they're going up against the lions now the lions if you have not been watching and you've been under a rock or something the lions are averaging over 40 points per game and that is exactly why so uh that brings us to our next game of the week and that is the chargers at the browns now in this game even though the chargers are on the road i'm gonna go with the Chargers, they, uh, Herbert's back. I mean, well, he was always back, but he's probably still recovering from that rib injury that he had, but he looked pretty good last week and led the Chargers to a win. So we're going to say Chargers over the Browns. The next game on our list, and if you remember, I said that in coming weeks, I would be high on the Jaguars, and this is the game right here where I am going to be high on the Jaguars, and we're going to say that the Jaguars are going to beat the Texans 
This game is going to be in Jacksonville as well. All the more reason. And uh, Trevor Lawrence looks like the Trevor Lawrence that was at Clemson, finally. So that's where we are. We're going to take the Jags in that game. Next one you have is the Falcons. Is yeah, the Falcons and the Buccaneers. This game again, it's in Tampa, like last week's game was in Tampa. And uh, last week I picked the Falcons to win, and they hung on and they barely won, I think. But we're gonna go with the uh, Tampa Bay Buccaneers in this one. We are not gonna take the Falcons again. I am not, you know, I'm not that high on the Falcons. So, next game we have is the Steelers and the Bills. The Steelers are just really falling apart in front of our eyes. Trubisky's lost his job. They got a rookie quarterback going out there now. The Bills, though, came back from a 17-point deficit last week to beat Baltimore. So, yeah, we're going to take the Bills big time. <laughs> over the Steelers. Next game you got Dolphins at the Jets. Now the Dolphins are going to be this week without Tua because of the concussion problems he's been having the last couple of weeks. So they're going to sit him out just to be on the safe side, I suppose. And they've already made that decision. But still the Dolphins, even without Tua and, you know, with Brissett at quarterback, his surrounding cast is still a lot better. So we're going to go with the, with the Dolphins. Let's take the Dolphins to beat the Jets. The Jets are still not a good team. So uh, even a Tua-less Dolphins should beat the Jets. Next game we got is my Bears. Bears are on the road in Minnesota. Enough said. Let's just go with Minnesota. Let's cut through the crap and go with Minnesota. I mean, the Bears couldn't beat the Giants last week. And I thought that would happen. And it probably should have happened in real life. But in this real life, this alternate reality we're in, they lost to the Giants. So... I'm not giving them that much credit anymore. Next one we've got is the Titans at the Commanders. And in this game, uh, even though the game is in Washington, let's go with the Titans. We're going to take the Titans big time over the Commanders. Moving right along. We're just moving at a brisk pace now. We've got the Seahawks at the Saints, and even though this game is in New Orleans, I am going with the Seahawks. The Seahawks last week put up a lot of points. They barely hung on and beat Detroit 48-45, and if they found us some kind of offensive secret, then, you know, they're going to share it with the rest of the league by beating them in the beatdown. Although they did give up 45 to the Lions, so. But then again, the Lions score a lot, so who knows. The next game you're going to have here is the 49ers at the Panthers. 49ers, very impressive on Monday night against their arch enemy, the Rams. And I don't see any reason why that won't continue. We are going to go with the 49ers again in this game. It also helps, of course, that... Carolina's quarterback is, as far as I know, still Baker Mayfield, and uh, he's still bad. The next game we're going to look at, the Eagles at the Cardinals. And in this game, even though the Cardinals have shown that they're coming kind of back to life, there is only one undefeated team in the NFL this year, people, and you know what team that is? Yeah, it's the Eagles. So the Eagles are going to stay undefeated, I'm going to say here, and that they are going to beat the Cardinals. Even though, as I say, 
the game is um, in Arizona. Next one we have Cowboys at the Rams. And, uh, well, you know what? The Rams look pretty horrible on Monday night against San Francisco. And the Cowboys with Cooper Rush at quarterback now are looking a lot better. But no, don't be fooled. I'm still going to go with the Rams. I think the Rams are going to beat the Cowboys. I'm not convinced that Cooper Rush is the main man that's going to lead him to victory against all these other good teams in the NFC because it's not going to happen. That brings us to the uh, Sunday night, the Sunday night game. And that's going to be the Bengals at the Ravens. And this one, I'm, I'm hesitant. I am very hesitant to take the Ravens, but I'm going to because um, they, they've blown big leads against the Dolphins and against the Bills. And part of the reason that they blow those leads is because Harbaugh is relying exclusively on analytics to make his game in-game decisions. And I think it's hurting the team. But I'm going to assume still that they can hang on and beat the Bengals. And maybe, you know, those analytics decisions will go the right way. Let's hope at least this week so that I'm right. And that brings up the Monday night game. That's going to be Raiders at Chiefs. The Chiefs, you know, except for that hiccup against the Colts, the Chiefs have been beating everybody up. I don't see a reason to think that that will not continue. And we're going to go with the Chiefs. And uh, the Las Vegas Raiders are going to go back to their losing ways. So, uh, what do you guys think? Um, you like those picks? Of course, as always, leave a comment. Let me know what your picks are. Let me know maybe how what picks you differ with me on. If there aren't a lot of them, that would be less to write, I suppose. Give me a thumbs up on the video. And as always, that was going to be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.